Hey everyone, I'm over at my second Airbnb of this trip and I just want to share another tip on eating while traveling. This can also apply if you run out of food in the fridge last minute or if you're just feeling like a lazy bum. Easy to prep, healthy, and cheap. I struggled with eating while traveling for a while, so I'd either spend a lot eating unhealthy food while I'm out or I'd be eating a lot of Hot Pockets until I found this simple healthy meal that I can do for $3.55 per meal. And that's what I wanna share with you guys. So let's get started. You will need a microwave, a mini fridge, freezer, container or plate. I generally try to stay away from like plastic microwavables. Kind of creeped out about it like potentially melting in your food and stuff. But in tough times, sometimes you just gotta do it. This is microwavable though. And for food, you'll need some frozen grilled and ready chicken. This one's diced. A can of beans. They're all about the same, it's just preference. Some will have a carb or two more, some will have less sodium. Some sauce. I normally get like honey mustard. I wanna keep the calories, sodium, and carbs low. I tried the Southwest one to mix it up a bit and it was all right. But if you don't mind the sugar a little bit, you can go with the barbecue sauce. This meal may be a little bit harder for some of you to take down than it is for me. I can pretty much eat anything and some veggies. I got the shredded carrots and collard greens. So first what you're gonna wanna do is open up your can of beans, drain out this goopy, nasty liquid that's gonna be in there. Then rinse off your beans and drain it a couple of times in here. And then pour your clean beans into your plate or container. Next you can use your portable mini scale to weigh out your chicken. Or you can just wing it and divvy up your bag of chicken into about three meals. So if you wanna add about 40 grams of protein, you wanna add about 170 grams of chicken. Next for your honey mustard, if you only wanna add 10 grams of carbs, you can add 50 grams of sauce. So that's pretty much it at this point. You got all the main macros in there, and now you just throw on the veggies. Again, you can weigh this out, or you can just throw in a bunch of veggies like I do. Watch out for those ugly pieces, man. So once you microwave it and mix it, you end up with a nice hot meal looking like this. For each meal, here's the macronutrient information and here's the grocery list slash cost breakdown. So as you can see, this is a very healthy, low calorie meal with about 685 calories, a low 5 grams of fat, a moderate 85.5 grams of carbs, a high 62.5 grams of protein, and a really good 17.5 grams of fiber. So about 70% of the 25 grams of the recommended daily amount of fiber. So this macronutrient information is all based on just the chicken, beans, sauce. Once you add the veggies, it's going to increase the carbs and the fiber a little bit and a tiny bit on the protein. Depending on how much you add. So you can weigh that out as well or you can just add a bunch like I do for the most part. Eat your veggies kids. So for the total calories of this meal, about 7% is coming from fat, about 53% coming from carbs, and about the remaining 40% coming from protein. That's a nice balance. It's kind of low on the fats a little bit. You can always boost up the healthy fats by eating an ounce of mixed nuts or you can mix in some ground flax if you want to boost up the fats, protein, and the fiber. This meal is also kind of on the high side of protein for a lot of people. This is all right because while you're traveling, it's usually a lot easier to get in the carbs than it is the proteins. Nonetheless, this is a very good baseline if you're eating it for lunch before you head out for the day. So there you have it, a nice, big simple healthy meal for only three dollars and 55 cents and remember there's also always peanut butter sandwiches on whole grain bread which also pack a lot of nutrients thanks for watching guys Cut too.